Hey guys. Um I realized something last night. <coughs> you know <coughs> Yeah. Sorry about that. Um I'm trying to get my voice back in the tune and um because I'm getting sick. And the cover I just did for my last one, last video. <coughs> Probably sounds like crap, but practice makes perfect. <clears throat> I know that the pitch was off. <clears throat> Probably a little bit. Probably a lot. And that's what I'm working on is my pitch, and I'll be fine. Um, you know, and harmony, not go off key. But anyways, um, I realized something last night. That people that don't know me, I need to take a step back and realize, you know, maybe I shouldn't act that way. And someone who is simply awesome and amazing made me realize this. And after all the shit that I've been through, <clears throat> how mentally strong I am. I may not see it now, I may not see it three years from now. I may not see it 50 years from now, but I wish everyone and myself would see how mentally strong I am after all the shit that I've been through and I've made it this far. And whoever God is doesn't, you know, control me. The truth has been buried way too much. I've, I wasn't myself when I tried killing myself. And, you know, <clears throat> I was a fake at the time. I, and not who I was, but it's just like, I was, I was acting not myself, and I need to stop doing that, you know, and fall back into that pattern, quit being, I'm a positive person, to quit going back into that pattern, being negative, and, you know, we, we all overanalyze stuff sometimes, more than others, and, we also basically, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we all get over emotional sometimes and needy and clingy and broken inside because you're being yourself. I mean, if someone can't take you for who you are, if they're not a good person, then why hang around them? Why are they in your life? And I realize that now, you know, like, I'm a good person. I'm an awesome person that I try to be every day. I make mistakes. I'm human, just like the rest of you. And, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> all you little enemies out there running around hating me for no reason and saying shit about me, I hope you die and burn in hell while your face is being eaten off. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I forgive you guys. Because you're simple-minded. And you're ignorant. And you don't know me. So, I... You know, I'm not a little bitch. If you're gonna come up to me and say shit. You can call me a little bitch. And you're gonna say stuff. And that dog dogatory... Not dog. sorry. And that statement... Coming up to a man saying that, it's like walking in the hood calling a black person, you know, bleep. You know, you just don't do that. You better be ready for a fight. I really try to control myself. There's some things that I can ignore and there's some things I cannot. And I really do try to control myself. I get frustrated sometimes and it's like, oh shit, he's about to pop donkey cover. Oh god. You know, and it's just like, I don't know, I'm a little bit misleading and a little bit... Just, I'm just out there. <clears throat> Anyways, I thought I'd say that because someone also made me realize this last night. I enjoy talking to him. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go eat something. And. Uh, what is that? Who's that? I'm so tired.